Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia, and welcome back to another episode of our Semi-I campaign. This will be episode 15, we pick it up from turn 94 in the winter season of 309. So, um, I asked all of y'all uh, what we should do with uh, Semi-Yin, and majority of you said we should just annex them right now. Um, so, this episode is actually going to be largely devoted to um, us annexing them and dealing with the aftermath of uh, the annexation. We're probably going to have to make peace with um, Samawe as well because we won't have many of these armies out in the field uh, after the annexation. But let's do that. We're going to jump right in here and get them annexed right over. They are right here. Meal. They're going to be annexed. Uh, he will hate us for it. Uh, Sumatra will be scared about it. But we have an army nearby. Um, so in case they act up, we have some sort of defense against them. Hopefully they will still stay loyal, but you never know. So we're gonna do this right now. Let's go. Yep. Oh, actually. Okay, we're gonna wait one turn. One turn, guys. Just one turn. All right, let's do wait one turn and then we're gonna do that. So we're still waiting. So yeah, we're just waiting here to attack Wuling. Also gonna wait a few turns. We just broke the treaty um, not long ago. Um, let's see. This army right here is recovering nicely, and is close enough to help this both this way and attack the Jin Empire over here. This army is really close to Sumatra, so if they do act up, we have options here. But we do want it to go down this way to capture the city here. Yeah, let's start heading down this way, get Nanhai. Uh, it's okay if they act up, they're not going to be a huge threat, they have one army. Maybe they take one of our territory, but we'll easily take it right back. Um, in terms of our city building, let's take a look. Uh, Tang Wu over here is trying to build up. Uh, wait, this is for the okay. This is for the commerce income. Okay, so the commerce income boost level five selling food. Okay, first we're gonna get the lumber yard to level five, so we get the minus two construction term boost. Hepu, same thing. We're gonna plant, uh, not plant, we're gonna grow food here. And let's see, using trade port. Well, this is missing a lot of things. This is basically commerce, boosting spice. Providing plus six. Okay, we can upgrade this one. Alright, we're gonna take that in turn now. Hopefully nothing bad happens with Samayin because we're trying to get rid of that uh, untrustworthiness. Uh, so let's hope it works. Alright, so Samawe jumped the gun. He's uh, offering to pay us for peace, which we do want. He's getting... He's getting beat, basically, in the north. This is all he has left now, right here. And whatever is to the north that we can't see. Um, I mean, money is good, but money is not really that important right now. We'll see whatever we can get in terms of ancillary items. The rest, I mean, maybe we want a non-aggression pack. But that's too much to ask for, I guess. He definitely doesn't want to get vassalized. Nope. So we'll just take money. We'll get the rest in per turn gold. There we go. Perfect. Alrighty. Uh, we signed the peace treaty. And Sima Ying didn't act up. Sima Yue and Sima Liang join a war against... Okay, Jun Ru. Okay, that's fine. We achieved 15 buildings, that was really fast. We got 15 point in mind, and we got permanent 20% construction costs. 
which is huge. Alright, that's wonderful. We also picked up Reform. And once again, we get a mission. Remarkable talent. A man come before you possess, he insists of a uh, remarkable talent. He can claim no Chen Shuo's record of the Three Kingdom by heart. Okay. To prove it, he'll tell you a character's tale for a price. Which story do we want to hear? Oh. Okay, so we get bonus experience either way for a cost of 500 and plus 5 point and whatever we want. And if we don't want to spend 500 gold, we get 5 wealth alignment. So I don't want to grow mind anymore. I can't deal with the satisfaction issue. Um, spirit, not a bad choice. Might, not a bad choice, I guess. But not really great either. Hmm. We actually really want wealth. But we also want the experience. So maybe spirit is the way to go. Spirit is actually closest to go all the way to the level 5. So let's hear Zhao Yun, the Tiger General. Or Lü Bu. <laughs> Alright, Lü Bu, Zhao Yun, Sima Yi. Uh, we're gonna do Spirit. You hear the tale of Zhao Yun rescued Liu Bei's son and Liu Bei's shocking reaction. I uh, just slammed the kid on the ground. Alrighty. We gained Devious Attendant, basically. The other one was from Trade. All right, so now we can annex him properly, or I hope it turns out that we can annex him without any more delay. Uh, let's see, annex him. All right, let's do it. Okay, so now is just the flat twenty-one for. That doesn't really make much of a difference. Uh, so there's still one point from shortly after. Okay, it doesn't matter. We're going to take this and then we're just going to annex them. There we go. Hainfenjangji, <laughs> Guys, we're gonna keep playing, but uh, we got enough prestige points by annexing him that we got um, basically become victorious prince, and uh, therefore uh, we got the victory. Uh, but there's the ultimate victory condition in this game where you wipe out all the princes, so we're definitely gonna do that. Um, so Sima and Huang Fu Shang is our man here. There's really nothing much to actually go over because we're not done with this. We're far from finished. Uh, but so let's continue campaign. Uh, we become victorious prince. Uh, very nice. Victory objective complete. We finished the campaign. We confederated Sima Yi. Our spy returns because he used to work for Sima Yi. All right, so um, there we go. The Jin Empire still loves us. Uh, we're not at war. We're at war with someone in the north, but we don't know where they are. Uh, Sima Chi obviously doesn't like us. Sima Mao doesn't like us. Um, we are gonna be doing a lot of things for the rest of this episode because our character roster is about to explode. Uh, or maybe not. Maybe we didn't get everyone. Most of them probably ditched us. And that's fine, actually. We don't want everyone. But we got Sima Yin, So that's the key. His army is the one we got that's out on the field. 
Uh, they're trespassing. Okay, doesn't matter. They're also trespassing, clearly. Alright, so we have two empty spy slot. Where is she? Ah, uh, she's a Donghai Wang. Okay. Hmm. Let's pick our reform first. We wanted this one. Even though this one's really good. But this is like two turns away. Plus one administrator position, plus Y faction support. Yeah, let's do this first. Alright. So we have the Grand Tutor position available. This is administrator. Okay. He's about to leave us. We're gonna release him from service. Yes, and we're gonna put our brother in charge. We're right here. Wonder if he's in our family tree. Oh yes, he is. Great. So we got all these kids, including two of his sons. They joined. Most of the other generals, I feel like, didn't join, uh, but that's fine. So we are max count of five. Basically, we picked up his actual army. Tin Hunters. That's his faction unique unit, Team Raider. Man, his unit's not really well planned out. Central Army Protector? That's pretty good. Alright, so we want him to be our um, strategist. Advisor. Advisor, that's right. Um, you see he gets plus 10 satisfaction, plus 5 noble support, plus 50% peasantry income. Uh, you lose 5 satisfaction here, but you gain 5 back here, and you also gain another 5 here. So he's going to be looking at plus 15 points of satisfaction for everyone, once we make him our um, advisor. Uh, his sons are level 1, level 4. Okay. Ah, er, yeah. He got a dictionary on him. Um, Sima Yinghui. I think she's the wife. Okay, she hates us for confederating them. Yeah, she's the wife. Uh, let's see. He's okay with Oh, he's our spy, so he's definitely okay with it. So we only picked up his family. The rest of his court all got lost. We picked up his general, he doesn't he's not complaining. Ah, okay. We picked up a Lu Zhi. He was in our A Princess story. Also got a nice robe. Yeah, he hates us a little bit. But everything else is a little bit okay. He has a lot of satisfaction built in. Like you look at this, plus five, plus ten. Plus ten. So he's we're, he's able to deal with it. Alright, let's start by removing him here. Um, we don't want to release from service. Remove from office, that way we want, yeah. Yep. And Sima Ying will become our new advisor. 22 points of satisfaction, plus 5 noble support, 15% peasantry, 15% trade, influence, and then one trade agreement. Yep. He doesn't get along with our wife. Okay, that's fine. And then we can also have this spot open for one of the whoever is unhappy. Perhaps her. She's rather unhappy. Uh, but maybe things will be better. Oh yeah, Tengzi is also extremely unhappy because he was in such a high post and now he's not. His rank is really low. Mm, so I guess, I mean, he's he's a good person to keep. We'll give him a rank up. Alright, that helps temporarily. Um, who else is mad at us? Yeah, everyone's less mad now because we have 
smiling in the position that he is. All right, we also got a bunch of new commanderies, which is another big issue here. We are now responsible for all of these. All right, Elise is a level five tool maker. It's built correctly as well. Um, here he's going for more food production than money. We don't need that. We actually could just go the other way. And in buildings good, labor is good. Private workshop is pretty good. State workshop is good. Okay, I like the way he built. We just gotta upgrade these. Um, Changsha. I'm just gonna do the tea house. I think. Let's finish up the tea house. Alright, Chengdu. Oh, so also another side effect is that we actually have all four, uh, well, two weaponsmith and two armor smith under our control now with this annexation. So that's pretty sweet. Uh, we just gotta level these things up though. So we're gonna ignore the economy here and just level it up. And over here, Fuling, that's our territory. Um, let's see, more food and noble support, I guess. Or more money. Wait, did we build fooling? No, we didn't build fooling. This was his territory. Because this is not built the way I wanted it to be built. What needs to be here is probably an M building. Or actually, we can upgrade it and build an M building. Yeah, let's do that. We want to go to food production here. Puyang. Um, yeah, more money is fine. We're officially losing uh, reformation points now because we have so many unmanaged um, territories that needs to be balanced out with their build. Alright, let's see. They are farming for food, focusing on food, and then the weaponsmith and the lumber yard is not bamboo, so there's no rush. Ooh, he built so many. Okay. These need to be fixed. This needs to be upgraded. That's minus 18 points. Plus like minus 22. Oh, this is losing a lot of points. Uh, Shanghai doesn't even need to be a large regional city. A bit frustrated with this build. I feel like Maybe we need to remove the state workshop. It doesn't need to be producing like more money and losing reformation. So maybe we should just switch it to the corruption reducing route because corruption is going crazy. Yep, that's actually a good idea. Let's do that. Uh, Idro has silk income, but we don't have silk, which is an interesting build path here. It's selling food, which is fine. It's bamboo, we should upgrade to level five. All right, this is completely useless. Don't know why they built that. Uh, private workshop is fine. This is pretty, mm, I can keep this, but we just gotta convert it. All right. Here we're going for. All right, we should upgrade the city actually. Jiangyang, uh, copper mine first. Yunnan, we have the. I uh, might as well upgrade it. Okay, um, so building's not in a great spot because, as you can see, our. Um, Reformation points going down, which is not what we want. We actually want to keep it high up. Uh, we already got the highest amount, which is what we want. 
We also have Huang Xing over here with his one city, I believe. That's all he has. Two, okay, two territories. Um, we have a trade agreement with them. So I don't think they'll betray us. We lost trade to a bunch of factions, but we have four more trade slots. So is anyone willing to trade with us? All right, she is. Should we wipe them out? That's the other question. Just one faction left. In the city of Ba. Well, Ba is not that good. Let's negotiate. Is she willing to become a vassal? That's my other question. Oh, she's ready someone's vassal. Alright, let's just get the trade agreement out of the way. She doesn't have any items. Nope. So we'll take money. Oh, come on. Come on. It's probably like 6. 126-ish. No? Wait. There we go. Yeah, it is 126. Alright. Any other trade agreements? Let's see. Um, Sima Ma we're going to destroy soon. Xu Yan is in the north. He doesn't like us. So I guess that doesn't work. Military access. Alright, we're good here. Hmm. So we have a treaty with them now. Can we try to get out of here? Actually, I feel like what I should do is just disband his units and then disband him. And then re-summon him somewhere else. Because we don't like these units. We're going to give them a bit better units. And this army composition is really bad, so we're going to switch things up. We're not going to have these three generals together. Or actually, these three generals could be a very good um, range unit. Uh, all range. Let's see if he has the right... Nah, he doesn't have the right skills, so it's not good. Um, over here, he has pretty good traits. And now let's see his tree. Temperate deflection, wisdom of the river, earth. Okay, so he's like a buff type. Alright, we should get him leveled up pretty quickly. Uh, we don't need him to hold that, actually. We should probably give him Urya. Yeah, let's grab Urya. 15% more trade influence. And this is giving 15 more. Part of a heavenly flight for 25 range unit damage. Well, that's pretty good. Jade archers. I don't think we have a jade archer. Nope. Um, but when we do, that'd be quite nice. Celestial sword. That's plus 10 more satisfaction. That's great as well. Okay, perfect. All right, so now we recall these guys. Um, we can't because we're not in our allied territory. Okay, let's, can we get there? There we go. Uh, now we can just recall these guys. All right, we recalled everyone here. We finished all the buildings. These two armies are ready to attack. Um, this army right here is gonna grab Nanhai. There we go. This has a nice harbor. Ooh, they gave us a free dock? Interesting. Um, that's fine. We now have a lot of noble support, so it's not a big issue. We need to upgrade this up, basically. Um,. Let's see, take a look at the map. We can grab this territory here. 
And then we're probably going to go to war with Sima Mall first. And grab these as well. And then we're going to swallow up the rest. And then we can focus our army into one direction. Got to clean these up. Um, probably a lot of treaties going to get in the way here. Don't know if she's going to attack us. But with this one force, it's not really a big issue. Um, she is part of the alliance over here. She's not anyone's vassal. Is it just we're on cooldown because we just... Um... Yeah, because we just annexed. Yep, that's what we thought. Okay, so we gotta wait a bit. It's basically disabled our, our, our diplomatic options. Uh, which is fine. Yijou is losing what? Oh, we, we, we are converting. That's fine. Um, spies. Do we really need to send out more spies? That's the question. Let's see. We have three characters here. He has an armor that is kind of nice. Yeah, he used to work for Samayu. But he ditched us. He didn't join us. He's actually pretty good. And yeah, most of these are decent. I will recruit him. Greedy, brave, impeccable. Also worked for Samayu. I mean, she's also not bad. And it's not like she can betray us, but we don't need we don't need that many characters. Uh, is he a good spy? Minus fifteen percent chance of discovery and providing spy. That's not bad. Maybe we just send him out. Doesn't need to be good to go to another faction. Alright, we'll send him out to who though? Maybe to Simatio, because he currently holds the capital. Let's deploy. And we'll wait for a better character to show up. Administrator of where? Yeah, where are my administrators? I feel like they're not in the right places. Actually, they are. Hepu, Puyang, Changsha, Changwu. Yeah, it's probably not bad. Nanhai probably needs one too, but we need more reforms to get more. Because we're already ranked up. Uh, so our new victory condition is taking out all the princes. Uh, Sima Ying's already joined us. So we can either kill them or um, annex them. And we also should take the capital and become either regent or emperor. I mean, with our playstyle, it's probably regent. We are loyal to our older brother. Um, I think we did everything post-annexation. We still have a lot of small details to manage. Uh, we had to summon up a new army. We have to um, uh, get all the buildings right. That would take time. And then we also want to attack them. Um, yeah, we want to attack both of them. But right now, I think it's going to cause more untrustworthy if we do attack. So maybe that's not the option right now. But we are ready. We have two units both in position to wipe them out in one move. So let's continue. Alright, Sima Yun has declared war on us. He has quite a bit of army to our uh, east. One, two, three, four. Um, so it's going to be a problem. Because our eastern front is only defended by one general right here. But we'll see how it goes. Sima Chi has asked us to draw, defend them against Sui Ying. Where is this faction? I mean, I guess we'll help. Against who? Where are they on the map? How are you getting in trouble with these people far, far away from you? Oh, right there. Kai Ji. Okay. Oh yeah, we, we want to go to war here. She's also the vassal of um, Sima Yu, so let's do it. Oh no, vassal of Sima Yue maybe. 
No, Samayo. Because the color code must be Samayo. Samayo has territory in the south? Interesting. Alright, accept. It's asking us to defend them against Sima Yu. Okay. This is just uh, down the rabbit hole we go. <laughs> and Sima Lun. Um, let's see. Sima Lun minus 50, Sima Yu minus 11. Everyone else likes that actually. Sima Chu, especially. I mean, we're at negative 264 with him. Ouch. Alright, accept. Alright, the Jin Empire wants to give us a non aggression. Um, we'll actually take it. We need some friends. We can't have all enemies right now. So let's do it. Alright, so we're now in a lot of wars. Um, which is fine. Sima Lun and Sima Yong, mainly the two other princes who are war with. Our spy is sent to Sima Jiu. Okay. A few characters available. Let's take a look at them. Um, not really that good. She's willing to spy, but has no really good spy traits. Yeah, these are pretty bad. I'm gonna skip out on them. Sima I gained cheerful. Oh, that's good. Plus five more satisfaction. Where was this trait earlier? Alright. Now we gotta worry about a lot of the uh, fighting going on. Sima Shu, our son, picked up a new skill. Perfect timing for a plus one rank upgrade. And we should have some item that can boost faction wide that he should be holding. Uh, or we don't. Oh, there we go. This one. Tengzi is no longer our um, key guy here, so we don't need him to be holding on to the hand of the king. Provincial Auditor. Okay, we don't have that. And we don't have an armor for him, which is kind of sad. Tengzi, what are you wearing? Strip. Give it to our son. And Tengzi do have a horse. Ooh, that's a good item. It's a better item than this. Alright, remove this. There we go. Alright, perfect. Uh, where is our brother? Alright, this is a better version. Okay, so that's good. So let's take a look at our war situation. We're now at war with this faction right here. Smayun taking over this, so we're at war with him. Smayun's also here. Smayun's also here as well. But his armies are littered across the river, which is a big problem. So he could attack us at anywhere he wants, actually. Um, so I think right now we gotta pull this army. Can we not select them? Oh, there we go. We gotta pull them back. Get ready to fight them over here. Um, Sima Ma will still be taken care of by, uh, by Sima Ai himself. Perfect. Um, where should we summon the army? I know we have one commandery that built conscription. Maybe it was Fooling. Let's see, where is Fooling? Nope. Did we not build any commandery as a military commandery? Yeah, we didn't build any commandery as a military commandery. Uh, then I guess it doesn't matter where we recruit. It'll be all the same. Alright, he sent an army out here next to the iron mine. That's fine if he captures it. We need to buy some time to raise the army here. Alright, Sima Ying is clearly going to lead this army here. Now, I hate that he has this unique cavalry that we want to keep. But 
it's not ideal for him to hold on to those cavalries. Let's see. He had, oh, his son has a cavalry unit as well. His son's also level four. It's not bad. Wang Fu Shang. Samayu. <laughs> Double Samayu. Um, he's our other administrator. How should we build this army, actually? I don't know. Feels like we could do something non traditional. But I feel like we need the cavalry. But do we need a front line? That's the question. Because we only have this champion right here. Probably should keep him though. We probably should yeah, we probably should use him. So what we need to do is get him off assignments. Where is he? There we go. Pull him out. Uh, gotta get rid of these. Alright, do we want... Okay, I guess we want to keep this guy. It's fine. Uh, we want to recruit units. What is he good at? Resourcefulness, precision. So it's still range stuff. Okay. So we'll still go with the Archer of Jin, I guess. That's our best unit. Alright. Two. And then two tribuches. Over here, we're gonna go with. Oh, this is a cat. Okay. We're gonna go straight up all cat cataphracts. It's going to be a pretty elite army over here. Heavy on the cavalry and... Alright, uh, he has reach. That's actually really good. And then over here, we're going to we're gonna recruit that champion. And we're just going to do... Um, infantry of Jin. That's kind of boring, actually. Let's do something a little bit more interesting. Maybe we should just pull Lu Zhi out. Alright, let's do it. And we have two tribuches on Sima Yu. Lu Zhi also has resourcefulness. Okay. So let's do four tribuches. Um, and the Archer of Jin. Mainly because these guys are capable at hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat as well. If you take a look at their stat, their offense is not that bad. So this will be okay. Alright. Take advantage of the fire arrows as well. It will take us two turns to replenish. That's pretty good, actually. Alright, so that buys us a little bit of time by losing the iron mine. Over here, we have just a stream of enemy coming down. Also, we have Sima Yun over here. Guess we'll head this way. Alright, I feel like we're not doing too bad. We have three armies in the north. And then we have this army over here who will rush back soon. Uh, pick up all these territories here. Yeah, the Jin Empire picked up Tongan. And Sima Chi picked up Tongan. Oh, he's grabbing territory. He's expanding. Okay. That's fine. His fate might be an annexation as well. We'll see about that. Let's start looking at our buildings again. Um, Basi, uh, we're going to do anti-corruption on all the state workshop here. Uh, mainly because it also helps with reformation loss. And why is it... Oh, that's faction support. Okay. Alright, fix that. Are we losing... We're losing even more. Okay, that's great. Let's get the weapon craftsman up. That's not bamboo. Um,
What do I want here? Regardless, bamboo first. But eventually I will want... Private workshops ready built. So maybe just state workshop, but built it in the... Um, uh, corruption free method. Okay, this convert. Alright, Sama'i's Eyes Army. We're so committed towards Sama'i that we're kind of like ignoring the fact that we have an actual enemy right now. And he's not really going to be an issue. But we want to unite this land right here. Now we can commit Sama'i over there, it's fine. We are probably going to be okay to the north. Um, let's put that theory to the test by ending turn. Alright, Sama'i, you know, they're attacking the Sindu fishing port. Um, they have two big armies here. Um, we're going to fight it. I'm trying to inflict maximum damage. They have six generals, including Sama'i himself, so we're not going to win this, but... We can try to do as much damage as possible. Let's go. Alrighty. Let's see how they are approaching this fight with us. It seems like they're spreading their initial attack forces out. And this army is the really weak one. Hmm. And the main force is coming from over here. I mean, I guess our goal should be just wiping this army out. Let's first gather up all our archers. There's plenty of them. Alright. And we have spear guard. So we can actually tank up the front. There's only one archer unit here. So maybe spear guard should go here. There's a crossbow unit there too. And we sadly only have one spear guard. Everyone else would be on this side. Alright, so he's just guarding the door against this group, which is fine. Pearl Dragons, Senbei Riders, okay, tough units to deal with. Um, over here, our goal is just to wipe them out with these archers and then run away soon. So we're gonna just spread them out. We're gonna put... Maybe the Z infantry, because they have the biggest armor. Actually, Spear Warrior have the same amount. So let's Spear Warrior this. Spear Warrior this. And these guys... I guess can be backups. And then... Just for morale boost. And we ignore that army. That army we can't beat. Try to wipe this out. Let's start. Oh, they're not coming out. They're not com coming to us. Uh, this changes things. Hmm. This changes a lot, actually. Actually, he can stay here. Doesn't feel like they're gonna be coming. So they should just... they should move. Hmm... These guys are coming in, at least. Start sniping at their generals. Seems like they're mainly going for this door here. Let's get them over here. Alright. Actually, maybe we shouldn't go out this way. Alright, their cavalry is letting us shoot them, so that's good. Uh, we need someone to stall over here. There we go. 
and then the other unit can block off here. Well, not bad. We're getting good timing here. These guys are going to be doing the running out. Alright, hopefully our archers all get into position. Alright, they're firing, they're firing. Alright, they're starting to retreat. Alright, killing some of our own guys, but it's okay. They're gonna take most of the damage. They have swing their army across, which is really interesting. Okay, they're the group that pulled out. Fire at them. I think one of our units already died. Yeah. That's okay, we can wipe out these archers real quick. Alright, let's wipe out this unit. They also take in the tower, which kind of sucks. Alright, route please. There we go. Right, here they come. Alright, at least we're getting free shot on them now. And they're all clumped up. There we go. We'll flank them once they engage. Alright, charge? He's about dead. There we go, let's fire here. Fire here. Actually, I want to kill those archers. Alright, he's about to die. There we go, there we go. Just gotta keep hitting that back roll here. And there's two that's shooting the them. Perfect. Oh, nice. Nice. Getting a complete route here. Pearl Dragons, how many? Nine units? Alright, we can stop firing at them. Because we're actually just going to be killing our own guys. We can pull our guys back a little bit. Perfect. Where's the strategist? Yeah, he's just running around. It's fine. Time to leave. We got her. Ooh, horse got kicked. Well, she's just getting poked to death. She also doesn't have any oath thorn. She's unbreakable. She's gonna fight till she dies. Are they coming in anytime soon? Wow, that looks really strong. Fla Roar of the Beast and Tenacity of Steel. He's tough cookie. Alright, we'll pull out. No need to stay inside. There's really no need to chase after this guy. Alright, they're coming in. Alright guys, we're leaving. Probably should retake this though. Although that unit might just die. That's fine. 
Let's speed it up a little bit. Uh, this this guy is being sacrificed. All right, the idea is we want to swing our units after they capture that point. Swing them over here. We want them to come out and give chase. All right, capture it. There we go. Here they come. So many men. Where is Zhang Feng? I want to kill Zhang Feng myself. All right, run. Join our others. All right, they're inside. Most of them should stay inside. We're just trying to buy time with our um, fishing port here. We already did pretty well against the first group. One issue is they have a lot of cavalry. It's going to be a difficult thing to run around against. But they also might chase us separately, which should be nice. Let's see how they approach this. Well, oh, they're capturing all the points, which is really smart. And they're burning our city. What do we do to them? Does Sienbei Riders have a raider trait? Oh, they have a raider trait. Okay. So they will burn our things. All right, come out. Yeah, get shot at. We'll use up the rest of our arrows and then we're going to make our last stand here. Actually, we should do it here within the range of our towers. Oh no. They took all our towers. They burned all our towers. That ruins our plan. Let's go guys. Crossbow units firing at us. That's fine. The problem is enemy general rushing in is going to wreck us. Try to do as much damage as we can I guess. Alright, we're firing. Hopefully I can get all the arrows done. Yeah. Goal is really just to use up our ammo. Get the maximum kill count. Cavalry charge with us, please. Kill some of these guys. Alright, we're out of ammo. So it's time to charge. Actually. Alright, here they come. Their cavalry got wiped. We're getting wiped because of the generals. Let's see if we can swarm Sima Yu and take some of his health down. We'll be making him easier to duel later. Charge. Nope, that's it. We tried. He lost maybe a, a thousand health. Maybe a thousand. Alright, there we go. Decisive defeat. Alright, they beat us, but that was expected. Once their general got into the action, we were doomed. Uh, we did wipe out this army. We killed one general, uh, wounded another one, popped the resiliency another one. Pretty much all the units were wiped. This army was just too much. He was injured by a bit, probably knocked out about 20% of his health. It's not bad. Oh, trade offer. This time they're willing to pay. Well, that's not bad. Maybe per turn would be better. 
maybe yeah slightly better I guess alrighty um, that's not important for us we lost the fishing port um, this is a good place to wrap up actually so we lost the fishing port to Sima Yung we're a big war with Sima Yung and Sima Lun as well but Sima Lun is to the north so we don't have to worry about that too much um, our goal is to basically beat them back secure the south or secure mo most of the south we're still maintaining a pretty good relationship with the Jin Empire so we're not interested in fighting them uh, our vassal is getting a little bit angry at us because of the annexation it went pretty smoothly we didn't take all the character in because um, we could only take in um, we basically took in Sima Ying's family and that's it and that was pretty good uh, Huang Xing is playing we plan to wipe that out we probably don't want to have them just always at the back side of our empire um, Zheng Lanyang I kind of want to vassalize them um, wiping out Sima Ma, wiping out this faction over here and then we're gonna finally make a push up north once we secure the south uh, we still have six more brothers or not brothers six different princes some of these are uncles and uh, whatnot we gotta wipe them out uh, Sima Liang is uh, right here Sima Yue, Sima Jiong, Sima Yong and then there's Sima Lun somewhere up here I'm guessing so that's that. Uh, we'll come back to that next time. Uh, vassal uh, oh, annexation went pretty smoothly, so that's good. And thank you guys for the advice. See y'all next time. Bye.